What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to Solid Squad Builder episode 13, I believe, not too sure, don't quote me on it. And this week we have an absolutely fantastic Spain squad which I built for a tournament, but I am going to quickly confess I made a huge mistake. I sold the team before recording the commentary which means I don't have the player by player guide, but I'm going to try and remember each player as I like. I've just got this still image on of it, so I'm just going to talk you through it like this, and hopefully that'll do. Very, very sorry about that, but uh, I'll try not to do that for another video again, because it was very silly. But I built this team for the tournament where you need one nation or one club. Now, I'm pretty sure by the time this video uploads, it would have expired, but I'm recording this last Friday, um, so it is still going as we speak. But... Uh, if you want the coins to be able to afford this uh, this team, there's a fantastic website called FIFA Coins Online. There's a link below to their Facebook page. You can go and check them out and then go to their website from that. They sell both Xbox and PS3, so go and check it out if you want. But as I was saying, what a team it is. In goal, we have the informed Diego Lopez. He's an absolute tank, possibly the best Spanish keeper. I prefer him to Casillas and uh, Valdez and Reina. So um, absolutely brilliant, really nice inform. It would be great if he had a team of the year because, wow, he would have been good. Uh, left back, we have Team of the Year, Jordi Alba. There was a lot of shouts for me to get the ordinary inform one from Barcelona, but it's not worth it. The Team of the Year one's two stats better, and it doesn't matter about chemistry because he's going to get nine anyway. So I went for the Team of the Year one, and he is so good. He has got more than enough pace for what you need for a left back. I believe it's 91 pace and he is so fast, really rapid, really good going forward. His crosses are beautiful because actually three of these four centre backs uh, used to be a midfielder, either left mid like uh, Jordi Alba or defensive mids like Juan, uh, no, Juan Fran was right mid, like uh, Javi Martinez, they used to be a defensive mid, and Sergio Ramos used to be a right back, so no one is in their trained positions, but just because of the informs, they've moved the positions to uh, a different place, because that's where they're actually playing, but yeah, he's very, very good attacking Jordi Alba, which, uh, which I very much like. Centre back, we have the international man of the match, Ramos. Now, I actually got this guy in a pack, sold him, and then bought him again. Um, and I love him. The pace he has got, I believe it's 87 for that card. And he is so, so good. Really fast, really solid, good heading, good defending. I love the right back version, and I love the centre back version even more. So, the second centre back, the one that is actually highlighted, the uh, team of the year, Javi Martinez. He is a tank, absolutely solid. He is quite attacking because he is usually a defensive midfielder, but he's got a good shot. Decent long shot, good passing, and he's also very solid at the back. Good heading, very, very tall, uh, good defence, and relatively fast. I believe he's got like 71 pace or something like that. Works perfectly as a centre-back. And then right back, we have Juan Fran. Now, kind of let the team down. If it wasn't a just pure Spain team, if it was like some sort of hybrid or something, I would have definitely worked someone else in at the right back. But because it had to be Spain, and I'd already used Sergio Ramos, he was the best thing we could get that didn't have high attacking work rate. I believe he had pace of 82 and basically he was just ignored in the defence. He never really did anything but he just sat there. So I'm just going to skip straight over to him as he's the weak link in the team. So left centre mid we have Iniesta. Now there's no need to even discuss this guy. He is ridiculous, out of this world, so good, crazy, insane, etc, etc. Four star skills, brilliant long shots, relatively decent pace and out of this world passing. So, so good. In the middle central midfield position, we have the team of the year, Xabi Alonso. Now, this guy is also a tank. Very, very solid. Great defence. Very, very fast. A lot of long shots. I think I have a couple of really nice long shots in the clips later on for you guys to check out. Great passing. Everything you want in a holding central midfielder. And he, he does a good job of supporting the, uh, the back four when they go forward. Uh, the right central mid is uh, Mikel Arteta. Very, very good, the inform one. Nice uh, passing, very, very good passing. Good shot and a very, very good free kick. One of his best at attributes are his free kicks. Very nice. So onto the centre forward position, I have a Fabregas that I move forward there. Uh, I don't know why I picked him. He's got good passing, good shot and pace of, I believe, 71. And he works very, very nicely there. He's, he's a workhorse and that's something you want in the centre forward position. He'll run around and get the ball and uh, and finish some chances if you need him to. So the left striker is Fernando Llorente, team of the year. I never realised he was so cheap. He's 60k and he is a demon. Brilliant pace, surprisingly good pace, really good headers, fantastic shots, fantastic long shots. 
everything that you want in a striker, which is exactly the same as Torres, but Torres is an even better version. Granted, he's about three times the price, maybe even more, I can't remember, but it's the international man of the match one. He has got 87 pace, really good shot, very good heading, and you might be sat there thinking, wait, so you've got these two tall strikers and no wingers? Now, that is my plan B. So you have this team, you've got the pace of Torres, You've got Lorente who can head the ball down to Torres. He can also finish himself. Works perfectly. You can get Mikel Arteta or uh, Iniesta to run down the wings, whip it into them if needs be. But if it gets to the 60th, 65th minute and you are running out of ideas, then what you do is you bring on Jesus Navas on the right, the right centre mid. You leave it in this 4-3-1-2. You bring him on right centre mid and bring Mata on where Iniesta is. And it changes the game completely because if they've got fast defenders, then that's it. They're going to be gone because usually fast defenders are short and they won't win these headers so you've got Mata bombing down the left whose crossing is something like 95 on his upgraded one you whip it in you're going to score every single time it goes in the box and you're going to see a lot of clips of that shortly so let's head on straight to the clips so at this bit I'm going to talk about some of the negatives of the team now like I said there's the weak link at right back with Juan Fran and he does literally nothing for you um and then you've got the strikers, which are absolutely brilliant. I really love them as a partnership. However, Llorente is fantastic headers most of the time. I did seem to find if the headers were high up, he would just float that ball over the bar with his header. It would just go ridiculously high. And I, I missed a lot of really what would seem like easy headers compared to some of the stuff a lot of the other players would score. Shorter players, maybe. So that was one thing that did disappoint me with him. But other than that, he's got really good heading, uh, like heading it down to players. And you do see a lot of headers that he scores uh, when you sort of whip it in like ordinary head height without needing to jump. Now, as you can see here, this is just what Mata does. There was Rafinha there, and he just made him non-existent. And... Uh, I somehow managed to scramble that into the net after like two headers, but Mata just runs and runs and runs. He, he did it again there and then played in uh, Torres, which opens the play up so much and changes the dynamic. It's a brilliant thing to have a plan B on the bench because if the other team are working with pace and you're trying to play through balls and play it to like the players and make them run, when your, play when your strikers aren't ridiculously fast like Bon Lahore, Nilmar, etc., you're not going to do well. So that's when you need to introduce something else like the height and... Wow, it just works so well. The, the amount of games, because I was doing the tournament Advanced Cup, the amount of games which were completely turned on their head. I uh, And what a goal that was from Xabi Alonso. I told you he has good long shots. But there was one tournament run where I, uh, I got to the semi-final and sadly lost it there and raged quite badly. But um, the, the first two games finished 6-5 and 5-4. Both of them, I was 3-0 down by the 60th minute, and I bought on Mata, and the whole dynamic of the game changed. Now, you might think, why are you showing us this team then if it's so much better with Mata? I don't know why it went so badly in those games, but usually, like here, I'm 2-0, that's the goal to make it 2-0, and that's just ordinary play with Llorente and Torres. They they work, they work very, very nicely together without even needing the... Uh, the help from wingers, etc. And they, they were very, very good at chip shots. As you see here, Fabregas chipping a, uh, a penalty. But uh, the majority of the goals I scored with the two strikers, if they weren't in the air, they were chip shots. And yet again, a goal from a matter cross. So there you go. That is how you make this team deadly. You can equally use it in a 4-3-2-1 and put Mata and Jesus Navas straight on and maybe have Lorente or Torres as the lone striker. Now, I didn't actually write down the price of this team. I believe it was over a million, but I can't really remember. And I had uh, Torres and the goalkeeper lent to me, so I'm not too sure. But if you could leave a like for this beastly team, that'd be fantastic. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. If we could get to 250 likes, that'd be great. There's a link on the screen and in the description to go and check out my Twitter. So if you want to, that'd be fantastic. Thanks, as always, guys, and I'll see you next time.